We're being asked to find the inverse. Let's go ahead and do this two ways. So solution one is the easy way. So it requires knowing what an inverse function is. So in this problem, f takes x and adds 2. So the inverse function has to undo that. So the inverse function, instead of adding 2, it's going to take x and subtract 2. Done. That's the answer. Another way to do it is to follow a series of steps. So usually the first step is to replace y, or rather replace f of x with y. So y is equal to x plus 2. Then in the second step, you switch the x and the y. So x is equal to y plus 2. Then in the third step, you solve for y. So in this case, we just subtract 2 from both sides. So we're left with y equals x minus 2. And then in the fourth step, maybe just rename it. f inverse of x is equal to x minus 2. So to recap, in the first step, you just call it y. We did that. So we called this y. In the second step, you just switch x and y. And in the third step, you just solve for y. And the fourth step, just write down your answer. f inverse of x equals x minus 2. That's it. I hope this helps.